We will go back out now to the ever-growing memorial for Dallas police outside DPD headquarters where Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. You're welcome. And before we talk about the investigation, I just cannot ignore the beautiful show of support behind you. What have you been seeing out there this morning? You know, I was out here a few days ago, and it, it just inspires me as I come out here each day and see more and more support for our for our fallen officers and for the, the families that it has such tremendous loss. Yeah, it's grown so much since we first saw it there on Friday morning. Now, I know several uh, members of the AG Law Enforcement Division are on the ground in Dallas at the request of DPD. So let's talk about what they're helping with, what, what type of work they're doing. So we are always willing to help any any office in the in the state and so they requested our help so we send people down to help with the investigation and so we're pretty good at that and so they're just involved in every aspect of the investigation right now yeah what what types of people what types of employees or expertise are you bringing into the mix so we're good at uh, internet crimes we're good at cyber crimes we're good at uh, investigating uh, Fugitives, we're, in, we're good at investigating crime scenes. We have a lot of expertise in our office, and we'll bring to bear that, that expertise whenever we're asked. Yeah, the suspect in this instance, obviously, uh, something that they have been looking into was his internet history, what types of Facebook pages he followed, what types of communications were there. Uh, have any of your, uh, I guess, AG related employees been into that home or gotten really specific with that? You know, I'm not sure they've actually been at home, but what they're looking at partly is were there other people involved in this crime? We want to make sure that there were no other conspirators, and so that's part of what we're trying to help DPT with. Yeah, you mentioned offering resources. What, what as we go down the line, we know this investigation is going to take a long time. Uh, how will that role transition from the investigation phase to then what happens to any people who are potentially connected to this? So this is a little different. If it ends up being some type of prosecution, then the Dallas district attorney would obviously get that case, and we would have to be asked to be involved in that as well. But we're willing to do whatever we need to do to either help law enforcement or help the, the uh, prosecution of anybody involved in this case. Something that uh, Chief Brown and Mayor Rawlings have both spoken very publicly about, which is something we had not necessarily seen in the past, is the fact that they are uh, men of faith, and they have spoken about that at media conferences. Uh, I know your message sent out this office, uh, this message asking for prayers and blessings for Texas, uh, some real sort of prayerful religious type messages. Is, is that uh, something that's been important to you throughout this healing process? You know, absolutely. When you see people lose their lives, you realize that, you know, we're all here for a short period of time and you realize that there's a greater purpose. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think it's really important that as we lose lives, that we focus on praying for the families because we know that there's, there's a God that can take care of these people. Attorney General Ken Paxton, thank you so much.